نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من احلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللهم إني أسألك علما نافيا رزقا طيبا وعملا متكبلا آمين ثم آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة أز زمر The surah was revealed in Makkah having 75 verses and eight stanzas and it is the 39th by the order of arrangement and it derives its name from the verses 71 and 73 in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned about the groups about the zumr and the period of revolution as the verse number 10 Allah says wa ardullahi al-wasiya that shows that uh, this was sent down before the immigration to Habsha. And it was also, some people say that it was sent down in respect to the, the migration of Hazrat Jafar bin Abu Talib when he had ma- made up his mind to immigrate to Habsha. The main theme and the basic subject of the surah is that the entire surah is a most eloquent and an effective address which was given to some time before the immigration of Habsha. And this was an environment which was filled with persecution. And uh, the real aim of uh, the invitation of Prophet Sallallahu has been highlighted. And this aim was that uh, they should, the people should adopt Allah's service sincerely and they should not pollute Allah's worship with service of any other deity and thus presenting this these cardinal principles in different ways in the verses of Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained all these basic these basic concepts and belief in the oneness of Allah negation of the polytheism and belief in hereafter these cardinal principles are, have been explained in different ways over and over again in the verses of in the verses of the surah the truth of tawhid and the excellent results of accepting it and the falsehood of shirk and the evil consequences following it they have been explained in a very forceful manner and the people exhorted to give up the wrong way of life and return towards the mercy of allah So uh, this is the basic uh, message which has been revealed in the surah in the verses of surah az-zumar and there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the verses of surah az-zumar has also mentioned inviting the people towards the faith on oneness of Allah Allah has also mentioned how how forgiving and how merciful he will be to all those who return towards Allah Allahumma ja'alna minhum بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز الحكيم إنا أنزلنا إليك الكتاب بالحق فاعبد الله مخلص 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 له الدين ألا لله الدين الخالص الله سبحانه وتعالى says the revelation of Quran is from Allah the exalted in might and wise. Indeed, we have sent down to you the book in truth. So worship Allah being sincere to him in religion. The previous surah ends with the discussion and the importance of sincerity towards Allah. And this surah starts with the invitation of the sincere worship of Allah. Verse number three, 
Unquestionably, for Allah is the pure religion, and those who take protectors besides him say, we only worship them that they may bring us near to Allah in position. Indeed, Allah will judge between them concerning that over which they differ. Indeed, Allah does not guide he who is a liar and confirmed disbeliever. So in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains that we do not need any source or they say that we do not need any source or any link for intercession to bring us close to Allah. As Allah himself, he says what? He says, that when my bondsmen, they ask you about me, tell them that I am very close. I am very near to them. And then the words of Prophet ﷺ further explains how near Allah is to the bondsmen. Prophet ﷺ told that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close to the bondsmen, is nearer to the bondsmen, more nearer to them than the wane of their neck. So when he is so close to all of us, we do not need any other source or any other link to intercess for his closeness for his intercession like they were the people of uh, the people of the previous prophets they had fabricated concepts they had fabricated uh, that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam was a son of Allah they had said that Hazrat Uzair alayhi salam was a son of Allah and the people of Makkah said that the angels were the daughters of Allah and they had fabricated all these false beliefs believing that they will be a source of closeness and an intercession for acceptance of our supplications towards Allah there is nothing of the sort. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close to his bondsmen. And all we need to do is what? To return towards him with obedience and with submission. If Allah had intended to take a son, he could have chosen from what he creates, whatever he will. Exalted is he. He is Allah, the one, the prevailing. He created the heavens and the earth in truth. He wraps the night over the day and wraps the day over the night and has subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. Unquestionably, he is the exalted in might and the perpetual for forgiver. He created you from one soul, then he made from it its mate, and he produced from you from the grazing livestock eight mates. He created you in the wombs, he creates you in the wombs of your mothers, creation after creation within three darknesses. That is Allah, your Lord, to him belongs dominion. There is no deity except him. So how are you averted? If you disbelieve, indeed, Allah is free from need of you. He does not approve for his servants disbelieve. If you are grateful, he approves it for you. And no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. And he will inform you about what you used to do. Allahumma hasibna hisa bin yasira. Indeed, he is knowing of that which is within the breasts and when adversity uh, adversity touches man he calls upon his lord turning to him alone and then when he bestows on him a favor from himself he forgets him whom he called upon before and he attributes to allah equals to mislead people from his way say enjoy your disbelief for a little indeed you are of the companions of fire all those who find deities with allah is one who is devoutly obedient during the periods of night prostrating and standing in prayer fearing the hereafter and hoping for the mercy of his lord is he like the one who does not say are those who know equal to those who do not know only they will remember who are the people of understanding allahumma ja'alna minhum rabbi zidni ilma allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafian rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutakabbala 
اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم منفعني بما علمتني وعلمني ما ينفعني وزدني علما Say, O oh my servants who have believed, fear your Lord, for those who do good in this world is good, and the earth of Allah is spacious. Indeed, the patient will be given their reward without account. Say, Indeed, I have been commanded to worship Allah, being sincere to Him in religion. Sincerity means what? To worship Allah? just to worship allah worship allah for him and worship of allah and worship for allah sincerity is what is valued the most in any action of the bondsman that is why it has been said that a drop of action is better than an than an ocean of knowledge i repeat a drop of action is better than an ocean of knowledge and a drop of sincerity is better than an ocean of deeds allah subhanahu wa taala help us with sincerity of our intentions and sincerity in all the deeds we do we need to we need to please you and we need to obey you and i have been commanded to be the first among you of the muslims say indeed i fear if i should disobey my lord the punishment of a tremendous day say allah alone do i worship sincere to him in my religion so worship what you will besides him say indeed the losers are those are the ones who will lose themselves and their families on the day of resurrection unquestionably that is the manifest lost they will have canopies of fire above them and below them canopies but that allah threatens his servants oh my servants then fear me but those who have avoided tahud lest they worship it and turned back to allah for them are good tidings so give good tidings to my servants allahumma ja'alna minhum with servants who listen to the speech and follow the best of it those are the ones allah has guided and those are the people of understanding then is the one who has deserved the decree of punishment to be guided then can you save the one who is in the fire but those who have feared their lord for them are the chambers above the chambers built high beneath which rivers flow this is the promise of allah allah does not fail in his promise <coughs> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse is mentioning the promise to all those who fear allah اللهم اعط نفسي تقواها اللهم اني اسالك الهدى والتقى والافاف والغنى two drops the two drops which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the best is first is the drop of blood of a martyr which was shed at the time of his martyrdom and the second is the drop of tear the drop of tear from the from the eyes of a fearing bondsman which comes out of the tear of, of the eyes of the bondsman for the fear of allah this this drop of tear is so light by allah that it will lead to atonement of all the sins as has been promised by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that that when a bondsman cries out of the fear of allah and the tears roll down his face then if the tear happens to be smaller than the head of a fly than the face with which the tears touch the fire of the hell will be prohibited to touch that face allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been reported by bukhari that the seven people who will be allowed or permitted in the shade of the throne of allah on the day of judgment one of them will be the person who when he is all by himself in solitude he remembers allah and he cries out to the fear of allah 
Allahumma aati napsi taqwaha. Do you not see that Allah sends down the rain from the sky and makes it flow as springs and rivers in the earth? Then he produces thereby crops of varying colors. Then they are dry and you see them turn yellow and then he makes them scattered debris. Indeed, in that is a reminder for those of understanding. So is the one whose breast Allah has expanded to accept Islam and he is upon a light from his Lord, like the one whose heart rejects it. Then woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of Allah. They are in manifest error. Rabbi Shrochli Sadri, Rabbi Shrochli Sadri, Rabbi Shrochli Sadri. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha, Rabbi aini ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husne ibadatik. Allah has sent down the best statement, a consistent book wherein is recreation the skins shiver their form of those who fear their lord then their skins and their hearts relax at the remembrance of allah that is the guidance of allah by which he guides whom he wills and whom he and whom allah leaves astray for him there is no guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that those who fear their Lord and their skins and their hearts relax at the remembrance of Allah, Allah make us one of them. Rabbi a'inni ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Then is he who will shield his face, who will shield with his face the worst of the punishments of the day of resurrection, like the one secure from it, it will be said to the wrongdoers, taste what you used to earn. Those before them denied and punishment came upon them from where they did not proceed. So Allah made them taste the disgrace in the worldly life. But the punishment of hereafter is greater only if they knew. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatum wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina azab al nar wa kina azab al qabri wa kina azab al hashri wa kina azab al mizan. And we have certainly presented for people in this Quran for every kind of example that they might remember. It is an Arabic Quran without any deviance that they might become righteous. Allah presents an example, a slave owned by a quarreling partners and another belonging exclusively to one man. Are they equal in comparison? Praise be to Allah, but most of them do not know. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the example to make us understand the ease of following and obeying only one and one Allah, how easy it is, how easy it is to please Allah who is Shakiran Alima. Allah gives the example of an attendant. Allah gives the example of an attendant to many masters. He will be like continuously overworked. He will be overburdened and still the masters won't be pleased. The masters would still stay displeased. On the contrary, if the attendant had just one master to obey, to please or to serve, the job is comparatively much easy and the master will, also ple will be also pleased at the same time. So this is a message, an eye opener for all of the, of all of those who run around, all the people who run around making efforts, making efforts, striving, struggling to please their family, their friends, their colleagues, their relatives, their community, and their clan. In contrast, pleasing and obeying one Allah is the most easiest of all. And it is most easiest of all because Allah is all merciful and Allah is all shakiran alima. Indeed, you are to die. Indeed, they are to die. Then indeed, you on the day of resurrection before your Lord will dispute. So who is more unjust than the one who lies about Allah and denies the truth when it has come to him? Is there not in hell a residence for the disbelievers and the one who has brought the truth and they who believed in it 
those are the rightest rabbana innana amanna faghfir lana zunubana wa qina adhab an-nar they will have whatever they desire who the rightest they will have whatever they desire with their lord that is the reward of the doers of good that allah may remove from them the worst of what they did and reward them their due for the best of what they used to do is not allah sufficient for his servants allah asks is not allah sufficient for his servants sufficient for what sufficient for sufficient for their obedience for their submission for their worships for remembrance for gratitude for them to supplicate for them to ask for them to seek repentance is not allah sufficient for his servants and yet they threaten you with those they worship other than him and whoever allah leaves astray for him there is no guide allahumma ihdina siratal mustaqim and whoever allah guides for him there is no misleader allahumma ihdina siratal mustaqim is not allah exalted in might and owner of retribution and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they would surely say allah say then have you considered what you invoke besides allah if allah intended me harm are they removers of his harm or if he intended intended me mercy are they withholders of his mercy say sufficient for me is allah upon him alone i rely the wise the rely the wise reliers say oh my people work according to your position for indeed i am working and you are going to know to whom will come a torment disgracing him or whom will descend an enduring punishment indeed we send down to you the book for people in truth so whoever is guided it is for the benefit of his soul and whoever goes astray goes astray to his detriment and you are not a manager over them verse 42 allah takes the souls at the time of their death and those that do not die he takes them during their sleep then he keeps those for which he has decreed death and releases the other for a specified term indeed in that are signs for people who give thought now here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about two conditions of sleep and death sleep has been called as the sister of death what does that mean and what do we understand from this verse remember the soul in the body the soul in our bodies is responsible for the life of the body and they, there are two <clears throat> there are two components of the soul what happens during the sleep is that one component of the soul is taken out of the body and the other stays behind this part of the component of the soul which stays behind in the body while this while the sleep is what is responsible for all the subconscious mind working and all the subconscious Uh, activities and of the body being carried on and all the autonomic organs continue working despite the person sleeping so while the person is sleeping the person is not aware of the environment is not seeing is not hearing is not talking is not walking is not eating is not drinking is just lie lying like a dead person because one of the components of the soul has been taken away but since the second component of the soul is still residing within the bodies so the subconscious mind operates and just keeps on working and this subconscious mind sends the orders to the autonomic systems of the body and all the autonomic organs like the heart the lung the liver the kidneys and all the gut and all the systems of the body keeps on working and the person stays alive this is a state of sleep now what happens when the person wakes up at the time of waking up the component of the soul which had left the body it enters back it is returned and so the person wakes up and gets up what happens at the time of death 
when the death is attended by the order of Allah, the death angel takes out both the components of the soul. And this is death, and this is the death of the soulless body. That is why, that is why when we are going to sleep, we have been taught to recite the supplication taught by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the time of waking and at the time of sleeping. At the time of sleeping, what do we recite? Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. Allah with your name. In your name, we are going to die and we are going to live. So we are reciting what? That we are trying to realize and we are mentioning before sleep that we are going to enter into a state of like, into a state of sleep, in, into a state of half death. And you know what? Despite experiencing daily, every night, daily experiencing half of a fraction of death, sleep, a condition similar to half of death, we experience it every night, but we still, we still tend to forget the time of our death and we still seem to forget and seem to fail to prepare for the life after death. How insolent, how forgetless, how forgetful, and how foolish do people behave. And then in the morning when we get up, we get up from our sleep, we say what? That all praise to Allah who has given us life after death. So this is what we are acknowledging and we are remembering and we are revising. That we, after this half state of death, we have been given and granted and blessed with life. And this, the chances of life. But despite all that, we forget that there will be a day soon when they will be coming back. No coming back to life. Eternal abode. The eternal abode. This, the travel of the eternal life hereafter will start. Allahumma aini ala humaratil maut wa sakaratil maut. Allahumma hasibna hisab yasira. Or have they taken other than Allah as intercessor? Say, even though they do not possess, they do not possess power or anything, nor do they reason. Say to Allah belongs the right to allow intercession entirely. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and then to him you will be returned. And when Allah is mentioned unknown, the hearts of those who do not believe in hereafter shrink with aversion. But when those but when those worshipped other than him are mentioned, immediately they rejoice. Rabbi Shrahli Sodri wa Yasirli Amri Wahul Uqdatam Milisani. Say, O Allah, creator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the unseen and the witness, you will judge between your servants concerning that over which they used to differ. And if those who did wrong had all that is in the earth entirely, and like of it, with it, they would attempt to ransom themselves thereby from the worst of the punishments on the day of resurrection, and there will appear to them from Allah that which they had not taken into account. And there will appear to them the evils they had earned, and they will be enveloped by what they used to ridicule. And when adversity touches man, he calls upon us. Then when we bestow on him a favor from us, he says, I have only been given it because of my knowledge. Rather, it is a trial, but most of them do not know. Those before them had already said it, but they were not availed by what they used to earn. And the evil consequence of what they earned struck them. And those who have wronged of these people will be afflicted by the evil consequences of what they earned, and they will not cause failure. Rabbana zolamna anfusana wa illam tafir lana wa tarhamna lana kunanna min al khasirin. And do they not know that Allah extends provisions for whom he wills and restricts it? Indeed, in that are signs for the people who believe. 
ربنا لا تزع قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وخب لنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوهاب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين سمامين